welcome back to Opal and Mint. If you are new here, my name is Ashley and I'm kind of obsessed with watercolors right now. I've done a few watercolor swatching videos. Um, I'm gonna get into actually watercolor paintings soon, but I, I wanted to get all of my paints swatched. I wanted to get everything organized and I decided I also wanted to make swatch cards. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the process of how I am making a kind of a catalog, card catalog of all of my professional paints. So I'm not gonna do this with every single watercolor I own because I actually have quite a few at this point. Uh, but all of my Daniel Smith, all of my Windsor and Newtons, my ocean paper, all of the higher end paints, I'm going to be making individual cards and swatching them so I can have them in a catalog. Now, here's a question you might be asking. Why, why would I want them all on individual papers? Don't lose that. Why would I want them all on individual papers when I have my colors swatched out on a single page? Um, there's a few different reasons why. These are fun. These are nice to see your color palette or your entire colors from a certain brand. But when I want to compare um, a minty kind of green from one brand to another, it's so easy to just pull these out and compare them side by side. And I have a catalog of all of my colors with the pigment, pigment numbers, the series, the light fast rating, all on a card. And so if I run out of a color, um, I can easily find all this information. So that's the why. And let's get into the how. How did I do these cards? So originally, I don't see one of the ones so originally I was thinking I was just gonna do a swatch of a color on like a little square piece of paper and on the back write down the information. Well, I decided after doing some research on how I've seen other artists do these, I decided I wanted to have all the information on one side and I wanted to have a little box for the swatch and I wanna have a little box for the swatch so this is what I ended up settling on doing. Here, I'll see if you can see this. So I cut up my favorite watercolor paper into four by four squares. And then I went to Hobby Lobby and I found a couple of stamps. So this is the one, the only one I found that was a decent size box. It says created by the top. Didn't really need that, but it's there. And then I wanted one that was kind of a decorative line. Is it focusing? I can't tell. So I just used those two stamps, one and two, um, and I'm gonna be inserting footage of me actually doing this. So that's all I did. It's a four by four square. I did those two stamps and then I painted the color on, wrote down all the information, which took quite a while <laughs> looking up each of them. Um, and honestly, I'm still in the middle of this. I've done all my Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newtons. Oh, and my ocean paper. I finished all the main ones that I wanted to do, but I do still have um, a few more that I want to add to the catalog. But when this video goes up, video goes up, it'll all be done. But let's get into, I want to just show you um, kind of a relaxing montage of the process. So now that I've explained it, let's see it. But I forgot to mention the, the paper that I used for my, hold on, let me get it. So I'm just telling you, let me get it carrying this giant camera around like it's a vlogging camera, but it's not. Um, the paper that I use for, the paper that I use for my swatch cards is the Stonehenge by Legion Aqua Cold Press, 100% cotton. Um, this is currently my favorite paper to work on. And uh, I didn't want to use my expensive paper for the swatches, but then I did, so I, <laughs> I wanted the colors to look um, accurate to the way I would be using them. So that is what I used and I just cut that up into four by four inch squares. And the ink I used for the stamps is this ink right here. It is acid free, permanent and waterproof so that I could do the watercolors over the ink without smearing it. So yes. Thank you. 
right, so here is my little box which will sit on my desk or on my little art cart right next to me where I can easily look at and access the colors. So um, I'm probably gonna make little dividers in between the brands, that way it's easy to uh, find a certain, whoops, find a certain brand. Because knowing me, when I get interested in something, I collect that something. And so I will probably, probably be getting more brands and expanding my range and finding out what the best is for my personal taste and style of art. When I started a makeup channel and reviewing makeup, like I have so much makeup now I'm overwhelmed, but um, I'll probably get that way with paints as well. <laughs> If you, if this is your first video, my favorite paints um, so far are the Daniel Smith paints. These are the ones that I have been loving. Um, I recently got an ocean paper palette as well that is completely different than the Daniel Smith paints, but I love it. And it serves a certain purpose for certain of my art, certain things that I paint. I don't think I said that very well. Anyways, here are all of the cards that I have at the moment. We have Holbein's, we have Windsor and Newton, I have a ton of Daniel Smith, and then I have my beautiful ocean paper paints, which, which are just stunning. I love the ocean paper paints. So, there is that, and one of these days, I imagine this will be full of paint swatches. Um, but I'm curious, have any of you done any Kind of system like this with your paints to either just reference to keep them straight is this video is probably super short but i just wanted to show you the process because i was doing this anyways and i thought maybe i should just film it while i'm while i'm at it because um somebody else might be interested in doing this as well and so here's just my approach to it there are several videos and um, pinterest posts and stuff on this specific topic but this is how i went about it and yeah I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. We are a brand new channel. If you haven't watched any of our other videos, we are a sister team. So I am the older sister and Kylie, which is the opal part of Opal and Mint. Um, she will be back. We have filmed a video of us together, but she has the footage that she needs to edit. So as soon as that one's edited, we'll get that one put up. So if you wanna see those future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and we will see you guys next time. Bye. So if you wanna see those, don't know what this is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't do things, um, lightly. I don't do things. I don't do things. Um, I go all in. <laughs> this is how I went about it. Went about it.